Hello and welcome to Market Wrap with Raja. I am Raja Venkatraman, co-founder of Neo Trader and also a trading influencer. I have been in the market for more than 15 years. I have been happily married with a loving wife and I am blessed with an energetic son who keeps me on the run just like the markets. We had seen last week that uh, we are witnessing a very, very tough times for the market. And if you recall, I had also shared in my video that markets are looking a bit confused. If you're not seeing the video, you can take a look at this video where I had mentioned that markets are looking confused. And I had also asked the question, whether are you ready? And the way the market behaved at the start of the day, it looked like uh, markets were coming out of the confusion. But then soon thereafter, the market stumbled and it was uh, quite evident that yes, it was the Friday, the last trading day of the week and people wanted to square off their position since everything was getting a little cloudy. And the way the market fell, it was very much in line with our anticipated uh, levels and it came down to the levels which we had mentioned in the video. Now we need to see how are we going to position ourselves for the week ahead. And as we step into the coming week, we have some uh, positive news flows in terms of uh, the US lifting uh, the ban on the H-1B visas, whether it will impact, whether it will impact the IT space. We got to take a look at that, whether it will impact the IT space. The USD INR has come down into a very important support. And uh, if from there, that levels, if there is a nice rebound in USD INR, then it could spell some bit of weakness for the market itself. And uh, Overall, looking at the way the markets are positioned and the kind of news flows which are emerging, we need to see how are we going to channelize ourselves because the way the markets is structured right now, it is quite tentative and uh, we need to see what are the sectors going to come out with and how. And especially if you see on Friday, the banks were one of the main culprits and uh, the way Bank Nifty capsized, it was quite evident that yes, there is a bit of turbulence evident in the bank nifty and that actually dragged the market lower. Now let's go down and take a look at the chart setups and find out what are the key levels to watch out for and how are we positioned for the markets in the coming week. Hang on till the end. I'm going to be telling you what is the situation in the market and how are we going to take position in each of the indices you're going to be getting the right levels to watch out for and how you should be positioning yourself for the week ahead so let me just share my screen right now and what i'm going to be uh, showing you is how are we going to tackle the market for the coming week and you can see here that this is the chart of nifty we had discussed this chart on thursday and you can see here the kind of hesitation that the market continue to show at these levels had prompted us to say that yes there is a bit of negative divergence which is at work you can see here the negative divergence did push the market lower and uh, what really happened thereafter was a nice dip which you are seeing right now so what has happened right now is that yes market has witnessed a profit booking is it a sign for bearishness i would say no and why am i saying that i am saying the same because if i get down into the intraday charts there's an intraday charts here you can see here that i am able to see that uh, if you take a two month trend line support it's come into a nice trend line support of a two month trend line support so yes it is at a very very important stage right now so if you were to ask me is it the time to buy nifty my answer is yes because yes it is coming to a very good support and uh, this is definitely looking to be a very promising support right now and now if you were to go in a little bit deeper and uh, introspect the last swing let's take the help of uh, mr fibonacci here you can see here that if you if you take the help of Fibonacci retracements from the last leg, you are definitely finding that uh, the Nifty has come into some decent set of supports. 
so it has come into the 50% support here so what you are seeing is the first it has come to 50% support which is a decent set of support you are having a nice trend line support also so there are two sets of support which are holding out to this low so the first step to watch out for will be 11100 and uh, if that were to give away then you have a very serious situation at hand because i feel that yes the supports have stepped up and uh, more than 11,000, if 11,100 were to give away, then you could uh, see the 11,000 coming down too. So what I would advise is for those who are long right now, you should be looking at 11,100 and at least on a hourly chart or a 75 minute chart, you need to wait for this level to give a closing. You need to have a closing below 11,100 and that would definitely be a worry case for the bulls till these levels are held you can continue to hold on to your bullishness so now this is a setup on the charts and let's go to our friend our guide neo trader you can see here neo trader as always is reliable and it's a number one trading software in india and you can see the way you are able to get a multi time frame view with neo trader and that is the benefit of this pivot confluence which i am sharing with all my viewers if you are seeing this for the first time do go and take a look at the other videos where i have shown it how to do it well and if you like the way we are sharing the concept of pivot confluence i would like you to subscribe to my channel and i would also like you to leave your comment on how you have understood this whole concept because it's a fascinating and a beautiful concept that will tell you how to partner with the market rather than worry what's going to happen so if you let's if you just go down and take a look and take a look at these levels what we are finding is for actionable points for monday you have got 11317 and 11322 as a very good support and this time the positional pivot is also not far behind it's 11308 so somewhere in the region of 11,300 to 11,330 is going to be a uh, important resistance zone for uh, the Nifty. And once you look on the downside, on the downside too, you have got the S1 at 11,123. 11,123 is the S1 on intraday. It's also the S1 on multi-day. So you have got a fantastic pivot confluence agenda for tomorrow on the nifty so your contours are clear your pathway is clear all you got to do is follow the action points and now if you take a look at this zone i told you that if this 11100 11, 11 1, 2, 3, not too far behind but then once that level is given away you have got sufficient room to the downside so that's where the bulls the shots who want to take part on the nifty have got room you can see here that on the downside let's try and find some confluence zone you can see here that s3 i have always found it to be a good level for booking profits you can see here that s3 on the multi-day as well as positional are tying up so you have got a fantastic confluence zone on the top end you have got fantastic confluence zone on the bottom end. So 10,960 to 11,300 could be your range for the coming week. Yes, we have got the range defined. and We need to see how the Nifty is going to behave in the coming sessions and find out how are we going to action them. So I have given you the action point for tomorrow on the Nifty. And I'm sure that you will be able to take some clue from that and go right there and uh, make some money. So in tomorrow's edition i will catch up with you and uh, find out as to how on the monday evening we are positioning ourselves for the forthcoming action so now let's go down to the other section which is the bank so when you go down to bank nifty you i'm taking a little bit of higher time frame chart just to get a measure and i find that bank nifty is clearly not interested okay it's clearly not interested to do anything so you can see here, ever since the beginning of June, it has stagnated in and around the 
say 21,500 to 23,000 area and it has not really done anything much. All it has done is uh, remove the enthusiasm from the markets overall and what is happening right now is that there is a clear hesitation to move up and this is clearly mirrored. You can see the impact which is being shown on the RSI also where the RSI continues to be in a neutral zone. So you are seeing right now as you can see on this current chart that at the higher levels you are witnessing some supply and this continuous supply emerging at higher levels is clearly putting some pressure on the market and uh, this bank nifty has got a very very important role as far as the trends are concerned why is that because a lot of traders participate in bank nifty and there is a lot of option driven volume also which comes into bank nifty and that's why bank nifty is preferred amongst the traders so this is influencing the market trends and this is producing a lot of volatility in the market and you can see here that the rsi has gone standstill and uh, the continuous pressure out here is definitely something to worry about and you can see here that right now it is not in a very comfortable zone so if you were to go into the intraday charts you can see here there's the intraday charts and uh, intraday charts are clearly now showing that yes there is some hesitation here and there are nice long body candles so let me just and this and you can see here that it has clearly given away we had drawn this trend line if you refer the earlier videos we had drawn this trend line support and uh, it has clearly given away and now we are looking at some possibility of some decline and if i were to take more data in store this zone around 21000 is definitely under threat so this 21000 zone has been targeted for a very long time there has been several attempts to hold out to this level but the way bank nifty is currently getting positioned it could be that this level could give away very soon and uh, if that were to happen then markets would definitely experience some decline so yes we are looking at a very challenging week in this uh, forthcoming session and definitely the baton or the charge is more towards the bearish side so i am looking at uh, the current week with a bearish tinge yes there are bullish possibilities in stock specific scenario but then right now the positioning is moving towards the bearish side and that is something which we have to take care as we move into the current week so now this is a scenario on bank nifty and uh, let's go down to uh, the new trader and find out whether we have got some action points here so yes the current action point bank nifty is currently at 21679 on the spot and we are seeing considering the scenario of weakness 21500 you can see here 21500 is a nice cluster zone so i would be watching for this level to give away tomorrow and if it goes below 21500 i would definitely be a bear in bank nifty I would still hold on to my bullish uh, views on uh, bank nifty and i am going with a bearish bias in bank nifty so that's my take on uh, the bank nifty now let's move down to the nifty it there are some positive news flows but then once you look at the uh, chart setup you are not really convinced you're not really convinced that yes this positive news flow could actually help the nifty it move ahead you can just take a look at the charts here see the way they are positioned they're all small body candles majority of them are negative and uh, they are clearly suggesting some distribution at work and uh, the way the markets are getting positioned right now the nifty it2 could witness some sharp decline i have been maintaining my uh, view on nifty it that yes it has come to a halt and uh, 17700 is a key threshold level to watch out for so 17700 would continue to be an important zone and once 17700 is given away you can experience some decline in nifty it right now overall news flow may remain positive but then 
the chart setup are clearly suggesting something else so i would uh, put the week ahead as we are stepping down the week ahead is uh, looking like out of the three indices two are definitely indicating signs of bearishness while one is uh, standing alone and trying to recover so that is nifty which is trying to recover while nifty it and bank nifty are clearly showing some signs of bearishness so as we step into this week we are going to be having a challenging time 17700 on the nifty it 21500 on bank nifty and 11100 on the nifty are the key supports to watch out for because the supports are something which are under threat and that's what we need to worry about so this was my take on the indices i hope you found this uh, discussion interesting i found you uh, i hope you found some value in what i shared and if you would like to share this video with as many people as possible it would be the best thing for me and i would also like you to share subscribe and comment on our channel if you are watching this video for the first time do leave a like uh, recommend uh, do leave a like on the uh, button and also share this video with as many people as possible because this kind of structured analysis is not done anywhere on the internet thank you for watching i am raja venkatraman co-founder of new trader and a trading influencer i've been in the market for more than 15 years happily married with a loving wife and an energetic son who keeps me on the run just like the markets have a good day stay safe stay healthy